Welcome back to Inside the Idaho GOP. Uh, today I'm pleased to be here with our Idaho Republican Secretary of State, Lawrence Denny. And uh, we're actually in uh, Twin Falls for the uh, Twin Falls County Republican Lincoln Day dinner to raise money uh, for the local party here to elect Republicans. But uh, uh, Lawrence, thank you for joining us. And uh, uh, I thought it was uh, uh, very timely uh, to uh, interview you and uh, considering 2018 is a very big uh, election year for Idaho with a lot of offices on the ballot uh, starting with uh, uh, the candidate filing period which begins on Monday so uh, I guess I'd like to ask and I think our viewers would like to hear uh, what you have to say and uh, what uh, they should know about the upcoming primary elections. Well, thank you, Jonathan, for having me. Uh, certainly, Monday does start the uh, the filing uh, the filing time for the candidates filing for office. Uh, they can register in our office, or they can they can fax in their registration. We don't we don't care so much about the uh, the signature on those. They do have to be notarized. But uh, unless you come into the office, and I intend to to set at the front desk and take these filings. At, along with the, the fee for filing, uh, and that's, that's about the, the process that we go through. For legislative candidates, it's a $30 filing fee. For statewide office, I believe all, except for the governor, it's a $200 filing fee. And uh, right off the top of my head, I can't remember what the congressional filing fee is, but there's, there's uh, a few of those. This is an exciting year for elections, you know, with, with so, so great of candidates for governor and, and, uh, and lieutenant governor in the first congressional district. We have uh, five or six candidates, good Republican candidates for the first CD, and three good, good solid candidates for governor, and, and five for lieutenant governor. So it's going to be an exciting election season, and we're kicking that off. By, by them filing for office on Monday. Uh, that filing period does run two weeks, uh, so it runs through the 9th of March. And then, of course, the primary election is on the 15th of May. 15th of May, primary elections. Uh, one final question. Uh, what would you tell uh, new people moving to Idaho or that have moved to Idaho about how to register to vote and uh, participate in the primary election? and hopefully uh, register as Republicans and participate in our primary and uh, join the team. You know, the, the easiest way to register now is online, and they can go to our website, IdahoVotes.com, which they can find on our homepage, or they can just type in IdahoVotes.com, and it will bring up that page and, and just walk them through the registration process. Uh, we do have a registration cutoff, which is 24 days before the election, so they they have to register before that, or they can show up at the polls and register, actually register at the polls on election day. So if they miss that, that window and cannot register, they can, if they do register online during that period, it holds it in queue and, and we'll bring that up on election day for them. So Excellent. Well, Lawrence, thank you for uh, joining us today, and uh, thanks for serving as our Republican Secretary of State. And, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, viewers. Tonight we're uh, heading to uh, the Twin Falls County Republican Lincoln Day Dinner to raise money for the local party here to elect Republicans. And uh, uh, again, I want to thank uh, Secretary Denny for joining us. And uh, until next time, uh, but remember, register to vote. Vote Republican and uh, victory in 2018. Thank you.